Nathan, we're back at uh, Ely Way after a week in Hungary. Um, did you get everything out of the trip to the global football park that uh, that you wanted when planning it? Yeah, definitely. Um, it was a place we went to a sort of a football facility, if you like, or a sports facility, sort of really conducive for for our pre-season work. Um, as I said, we had a, we had a real good week, a bit of bonding, saw a beautiful city, but did some real good real good training and nailed a few things down and, and as I said we we come back injury free which was which was excellent and as I said it's been a, been a real good week. Uh, that was going to be my next question, how were the boys fitness wise, everybody uh, got plenty out of it and managed to avoid injury? Yeah of course and that's always paramount in pre-season that, that when you get fit and, and, and stay fit, um, the lads did that last we had a few little sort of tweaks with, with Scotty Cuthbert, nothing serious but he was able to come away and bond and do his rehab away in it. In a, in a different facility, if you like, and it was uh, it, it was excellent. I said we uh, uh, we'd like to thank sort of Global for their for their hospitality and the, the way they treated us. And uh, as I said, we we've had a good, a real good week. Did you see over the week uh, progressive the boys bond sort of building? There's always that, that element to that kind of trip, isn't there? A, a team bonding exercise. Of course, and uh, it, it, if I'm honest, we've probably just got to keep a lid on. Uh, on that because I think they bonded too well at times and uh, that boils over into a little bit of hijinks at, at, at times and uh, there was plenty of joviality about it and a few little pranks and stuff which which we had to you know, at times keep a lid on but it was it's excellent it proves that they're together it proves that they want to spend time together which is is really healthy for a team because if you want to achieve anything it'll take a team to do that and uh, not all the, the teams that win games are uh, the best individuals but they have a real good sort of collective and that's what we have here. We saw plenty of smiles on the faces with the pictures before the game on Saturday which we'll come on to in a minute when the, the boys were out on the bikes and playing head tennis in the gym and uh, it seemed to be a real good spirit out there. No it was and it was a lot conducive because we did sort of things like the bikes and we took them in for a, a bit of an excursion into Budapest and, and so on but we had a real good test against sort of Paxi which are a uh, uh, a very good Hungarian Premier League team which provided us with a stern test in relation to the work that we did through the week. So um, it, it all ended and ended very well really on, on the football side. And they're good opposition as well, they finished seventh in the Hungarian top flight yeah. last year didn't they? So it was a good test for them. Yeah and it was a real sort of realistic one for us to be honest with you because the stuff we'd worked on last week they actually gave us a test in doing. We couldn't envisage that so that kind of fell into place but they were a very good possession based side and we had worked quite a lot on our defensive shape and pressing and our intensity and we were able to do that and to be fair there was sort of a few chances, we probably had the better of chances than we had one or two late on but um, I, I, I felt that we it was a real good exercise. And obviously the most important thing is not winning these games at, at this time. Everybody likes to win, but avoiding injury and getting minutes in the legs of the players. Which was, was what was achieved. You know, we, we were excellent. We we worked really hard. We we came away with it injury free, which is a, which is a, a real the main thing if you're honest. But they had a good workout as well, and it was a structural workout which we are, we're very pleased with. Obviously, we had the new signings that featured Christian Walton, Johnny Mullins, um, Danny Hilton. Jordan Cook didn't feature. Was that purely because he, he, he joined the party late and was yeah, still building Yeah, you know, up? we didn't want to push him too early. It's a long pre-season. We don't want to push him early and he breaks down and stuff. He's going to be an important player for us. So, um, you know, in God's will. So it's uh, it was one we just held back on him a little bit. He's had a few blisters and things, so we didn't want to push him too much uh, too early. Uh, in terms of the, the youngsters that played, we had five of the uh, first year pros and, and Akin Famuo, uh, obviously a youth team who, who, who played out there. How did they do? did very well and integrated in the team and, and they've adjusted to the level because obviously it's a lot quicker, a lot more intensity than they used to. They've adjusted quickly and uh, I said it was a good week for them. It was a real good test and a real good week for them and we were pleased how they came through it. And back to Ely Way, first day back yesterday, second day today building up to the first home friendly uh, at Bedford on Saturday. Yeah, and uh, I said that's all about now. We're getting out to kick it on. We now sort of uh, yeah, up our intensity slightly, demand a little bit more from them, and, and push on because I said we're still only in the beginning of the third week of pre-season. But we we want to push on safely and quickly. What can the supporters expect on Saturday? Will it be uh, two different sides appearing, or there'll be a, there'll be a mixture of, of, of the sides? But we'll you know now we have to instead of two forty-fives, we might have to push a sixty and a thirty, and and then alternate on on the on the Tuesday night and. And things so we'll we're up in the minutes again safely but uh, and gradually and finally what the, the fans all seem to ask for is is there any more signings coming in are we any closer to uh, 
or, or closer to completing your squad? I, I, I said we're, they're in, in the pipeline and if we can sort of add that strength to us then we, we're only one or two short of, of being final. Um, so hopefully we can do those in, in, in the near future um, and, and then move on into the season. Cheers.